My name's Linda McKeeman. I'm the yard manager in the, the yard here. But I started as a volunteer about 20 years ago and have been here ever since. On the yard, we've got 18 horses here at the moment. One's a staff horse, but the other 17 horses are all used for our RDA lessons. They come in various sizes from 12-2 right up to 17-2 for all the individual riders that we've got. So we've got young kids that come in, pre-nursery, school ch children, um, right up to our adults in the evenings where we cater for everybody who has a disability. Anybody who can uh, benefit from coming to the RDA with riding, whether it be behavioural problems or physical problems, mental health problems, anything like that, they all find that they, they get a benefit from riding or just being around the horses. My name is Pauline Pitchford. I have been a volunteer for the RDA Glasgow group for about two and a half years now. I started volunteering here because I'd always wanted to learn more about horses. I've loved them always, but as a kid, I never had the chance to really learn to ride or do anything. So I got the opportunity to start volunteering here. And that was the first reason for me was just to get to know horses and spend time with them. Um, like most volunteers, I started out in the yard, um, working, you know, mucking out stables, learning to groom, um, learning the basics of tacking up, things like that. Uh, and then I started helping out in classes. And recently I've um, taken the next step and I'm now a coach in training. So I'll be learning how to actually coach for the lessons as well. My daughter Rose is 11 and autistic and I've been bringing her up to the yard for visits for most of the time that I've been volunteering here occasionally uh, while she's been on the waiting list for lessons and she's fantastic, she loves it but she loves coming up to visit the yard as well. Uh, she's very bouncy, very enthusiastic. Everyone gets hugs. Um, yeah, sometimes quite overly enthusiastic hugs, but everyone gets hugs with Rose. My name is Rose. Hugs Sprainy Allen and my age is 11 years old. And I basically love all things kawaii and cute and cat. We've got our two managers and then the rest of the staff who are all here for teaching, preparing the horses, training up the volunteers and generally doing anything and everything that's needing done round about the centre. I'm Erin, I'm a staff member here at the RDA. I started driving when I was 10 years old, I then became a volunteer and now I'm a staff member. The thing I like about working with the horses is it calms me down. I have got autism and it does calm my autism down and it just gives me a good experience to work with different horses in the yard. When I come in at half eight, I grab all the feeds out of the feed room and I give all the feeds to the horses and I do all the water buckets, grab our hats and then we go up to the field, bring all the horses in. I think being around horses can help a lot of people um, for a lot of different reasons. Uh, for my daughter, um, the fact that she is a sensory seeking autistic individual generally, um, it gives her different smells, different textures, uh, and larger animals are less likely to feel that she is being overly rough. Um, I mean, she's reminded to be gentle anyway, but the, I mean, the horses here are just so good. Um, so uh, for other kids, it can be the confidence of being with a, an animal like a horse working with them. Riding is quite, it's quite different from just walking with a, an animal or a, with a dog or a, having a cat purring on your lap. Um, you feel like it's more of a partnership. Well, most of the time I just like the manes and like, like, like the patterns, mostly the skew bolts are just amazing. Like Tara and Haribo. Oh, they're Haribo. That's amazing. I have a lesson by myself, Elf, but mostly I'm friends with this staff and volunteers. And the kitties and the puppy that live here. Because yeah. just like adorbsies and amazing.
haziness and just, oh my god. I just love it. And after the lessons with Haribo, I always just give him a great big hug because he's my favorite gelding on the yard. Oh, I love bringing Rose up to the yard. Um, I also get a bit nervous about it as well because she's so enthusiastic, although she is learning to hug the staff a little more gently. Um, so hopefully they won't get bruised very often. Uh, it's good that we share the interest, yes. Uh, that connection of talking, to ho talking about horse things. The fact that I've had a few lessons and that I'm beginning to learn about coaching as well means that I can talk to her about things and say things like, you know, it's going to take you a while and a bit of practice, but you need to hold, you need to listen to your instructor, you need to hold things carefully. It's, it's really good. Um, yeah, it's nice that we can do that together and that she enjoys it. It's also nice coming up here without her because while I love her dearly, she's full on. Um, and sometimes coming up here, okay, sometimes the classes are full on as well, but it's different people, so it's different situations. And sometimes just coming up here and being able to sit and have a cup of tea and chat with the staff and then walk around the yard and make a fuss of the horses and the ponies. It's, yeah, it's really good. Well, I have, have been able to get to a trot on only my third lesson, peeps. Peeps, credit to my instructor, a pew pew. <laughs> bouncy, very, very bouncy. Seriously, it just feels so bouncy, y'all. Oh, seriously, it's just like <laughs> oh, it just just feels so different. And, but after the third or fourth time, I got the hang of just pulling myself down. Um, and it was amaze balls. But the other side of it is that you're working with a lot of different people. Um, the days that I volunteer on are, and, are mornings, and it's usually school groups. A lot of the kids are autistic, not all of them. Um, but it's great to see the improvement in them, uh, the confidence that increases. Uh, sometimes communication increases through the lessons as well um, and the different personalities of the kids I and mean, it's just a lot of fun uh, I mean yeah sure it's hard work at times as well because um, you do need to put a lot of focus into it uh, but it's fun too uh, and, and yeah it makes you feel really good at the end of it you feel like you're achieving something which is fantastic favorite thing Grim the horses. It was my first time working with Rose at the end. She's yeah. a wee angel, but she can be. Do you find it be? Do you find it like quite relaxing? Yeah, being up at the yard I find it or? really relaxing in this yard. Really relaxing being up. Nice. I assume like nice people mm -hmm. get to get to know people. Staff are nice. Yeah, especially Julia. Hearts help me a lot because mm -hmm. I get stressed really badly at this yard, and mm -hmm. I have to go and take ten minutes away from the yard. Other than that. It helps me a lot. Really like if I feel her. stressed, then I go and stand in the centre of the arena and just take my time, and then I go and join the class again. On the yard, we have we work seven days a week. All of our horses get the Sunday off, but the rest of the week, we've got our riders in every morning, every evening, as well as some classes during the afternoons as well. So we've got approximately just over 150 riders that come down. Um, on a regular basis and some of them just come down for maybe a few sessions, other ones come down on a more permanent basis. Each horse has got to, when we get them in, some are bought and some are on loan to us. It's really good for all the volunteers and the, the people who do give our horses on loan to us because we don't have an initial outlay for those particular horses. But if we need to buy them, we need to do charity events to fundraise for them. We have got our horses on, um, the horses that are on loan can also be sponsored by other companies so that the companies actually pay for their, their keep, their feed, their bedding and generally the work being done round about the yard. The Tully Allen Trail is a network of paths 
um, which is a great facility for ourselves. It's all weather so that we can get out and about. As long as there isn't snow and ice in the ground, we're out there. Even sometimes with some of the classes, they even like going out in the rain. Some of the volunteers aren't so keen, but we like to get the riders out as much as possible. So this Tully Allen Trail is fabulous. It's a wee network of paths just on our own property. It was developed, it was initially developed approximately 20 years ago. So making it into a nature trail about the, the animals that are in the area, um, about the insects that are there, as well as having permanent ducks on the pond. They look very real, but they're not. Even the foxes try and eat them. <laughs> but um, this nature trail, it allows kids that maybe are in a built up area in the centre of town because of their condition, they're maybe not allowed or not able to go out and go for long walks in the countryside or anything like that. Put them on a horse and it makes everywhere accessible for everybody. So they can go out, they can go around the pond and it's very, it's a small area but with the, the paths that we've developed in and out underneath the trees, round the ponds, we've managed to develop this so that they can go for about 20-25 minute walk just round on different pathways and it's just lovely, especially when the sun's shining. It's great. And the Tally Allen Trail is quite cute. There's even a Loch Ness Master. Yeah, there's like a village of Smurfs. And a gnome and tinkerbells. I ride once a week on a Monday just because it's an odd day class and on the odd occasion as today is my day off I get to ride heart on my day off and my three days off I am here. He's my little angel of a boy. It's helped me a lot. It gives I get my confidence from other horses. If I'm anxious they get anxious. If I'm stressed they get stressed. So with horses it also helps with behaviours. Um, some of our riders are very hyperactive, some are very quiet, some won't talk to people but we found that a lot of the time they will talk to the horse, they'll be telling them to walk on, they'll be telling them to stop and start. Even just thanking the horse at the end of it, it might be something that they don't do with in general kind of round about the school or anything else and we've found that it helps develop relationships as well. Um, it's a great thing that they're coming in, they're doing something that they enjoy and it's always easier for everybody. If you are doing something you enjoy then it's so much easier. You feel it's more of a partnership when you're riding and even when you're beginning to learn with a leader and a sidewalker you have that sense of being connected with a horse that is it's very difficult to describe, but it's a really wonderful thing. And I think an awful lot of people respond really well to that um, in different ways. I mean, yes, the smells are very uniquely <laughs> horse, basically. Um, and the, the sounds around a stable as well are quite unique. Um, so yeah, it's just, Everything about it, for those that take to it, it's not going to suit everyone, but for those that take to it, yeah, it's, it's good exercise, it's good for your confidence, it helps you feel calmer as well, so it's wonderful. 20 minutes on a horse is equivalent to an hour's worth of physiotherapy. So because the horses move a person and move in their pelvis and, uh, and they work on the horse, in three dimensions all at the same time. That's something that even a physiotherapist can't do. So if you tell somebody that they're going for three hours worth of physio, not many people will enjoy it. Whereas sitting them on the horse for an hour, that gives them the actual physical feeling of walking. The horse, sitting on a horse, um, will mimic the, the movement of walking. So if you've got somebody in a wheelchair or somebody who has got problems walking, then that horse will start to equalise their muscles and um, get the pelvis sitting in the right, the proper place and help with muscular control of their, their trunk muscles, all their core, um, their core muscles. So that could be um, every time they stop and start the horse, they're working, the, their obliques, their, their back muscles, their absolutely everything. So the horses in themselves, from a physical point of view, benefit basically anybody that gets on a horse. I mean, the more you get involved, the more part of the wider community 
you feel, which is great. Um, but also if you're anxious and nervous about things, you want to get involved, but you're anxious, you only got to tell them and you'll get supported. And, and that's fantastic. Because I mean, yes, I do actually suffer from anxiety. Um, and the support I've had here when I first started um, was great. You know, it's, it's, it's not just the riders that get a lot out of, the volunteers do as well. 